Graduation is a time for us to look back upon our education and also take a look at the future. When we are stepping into the new phase, a common question often comes to mind. Will this next step be successful? I believe we've all asked that at some point or another. The success that I'm speaking of, however, has nothing to do with money or fame or title. Sure, money's great, the career feels good, but we do not really own those things. They are really not permanent in our lives. But what we do have ownership in are some very important qualities. We own our talents, we own our abilities, our determination, our commitment, our hearts, and our minds. We can't control the economy. We can't control people or some circumstances. But we can control the choices that we make each and every day. At the end of the day, I believe it is our choices that truly define our success. And although you are, clap, you are closing tonight one phase of your lives, another one's just a few hours away, and that is your tomorrow. Commit to planning for your tomorrow by setting these goals right now, and then figure out ways you want to achieve them. Because without commitment, you're only left with hopes and dreams and really no definite plans for the future. Life challenges, they're surely going to come in the way. But each of you that we're honoring tonight, you have found a way to overcome the challenges you faced in reaching this goal. And it's in that same spirit we collectively have reached this point of celebration tonight. In this past school year, I believe we all experienced some level of difficulty. At HCA, we implemented a new curriculum and simply stated it wasn't easy. And perhaps within your particular graduating class, more than ever, you had to be more determined and more driven than you ever had to be to achieve this diploma. Graduates, your performance will always determine your position in this life. You see, it's about actually doing what others only talk about doing. You've already demonstrated that you possess that quality by being honored here tonight. You will continue to compete, compete against yourself and your potential every single day. But no matter what job you work in or where you live in this world, you wake up every day with a blank slate. And you can choose your life and what's going to happen with it. You're going to have some days along the way when you're going to wake up and you're going to feel like your life is at a low point. And what I'd like for you to remember from me is just think about tonight. Let's think about your inner strength that brought you here. It is hard to believe that five years ago this very month, the members of the Henderson County Academy team began preparation for the opening of the school. We visited similar programs across the region and we gained loads of knowledge and insight from our district leaders and explored the endless possibilities before us to create a new school with a non-traditional concept and to make it one of Henderson County's finest. And nothing could have pre prepared us then for a, a celebration tonight of our 10th graduating class from the Henderson County Academy. We are so proud of you. We're gathered together to recognize 28 of you to make HCA graduate number 305. We are so indebted to you. You stuck with us this year. It was not easy. We had our ups and we, and we had our downs, didn't we? But we made it. In closing, as you move forward from this place tonight, and as you seek employment, you attend college, you raise a family, you begin your tomorrow as a graduate, be reminded that life's challenges will surely come your way, but with determination and commitment, 
anything is possible. The celebration of your class is proof of that. On behalf of the Henderson County Academy team, congratulations, class of 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can only imagine, it is impossible to really showcase the talents and abilities of all of our graduates in the time we have allotted for this celebration this evening. It's equally difficult each occasion to select a student speaker. At this time, I would like to introduce one of our graduates, Ms. Katie Neal. Katie? Good evening. My name is Katie Neal, and I have been asked to speak to you as a representative Academy graduating class of 2012. I started attending the Academy this past fall because that was a very difficult time in my life. During the previous school year, I had lost two people who were very close to me. These deaths had an impact on me socially and academically. I spent the last half of the school year in the hospital trying to come to grips with what had happened. Both my mom and my counselor encouraged me to return to Henderson County High to, to complete my senior year and get through my diploma. But within the first few days of school, I knew that environment wasn't right for me. Ms. Raleigh worked at the high school and helped me get accepted to the academy. There are three main reasons why HCA was the right place for me. The first reason I enjoyed my time at the academy was the environment. The classroom is friendly and quiet, and you can do your work without any interruptions. At this school, you don't have to worry about people arguing or being rude. Everyone's there for the same purpose. Get your work done and go home. Another reason I was successful at the Academy was the flexible schedule. At HCA, I was not required to be at school for eight hours at a time. As long as my work day caught up, I could come and go as I please. Um, but the main reason in which the Academy helped me was the one-on-one -on -one instruction. If I needed extra help understanding something, Ms. Troy or Ms. Thompson would sit down and explain it to me until I understood. Not only did I meet my goal of graduating in time, but I passed my college level benchmark, and I'm getting ready to start college in the fall studying nursing. I've overcome a lot of obstacles the past two years, but with the steady help of family and friends and teachers, I'm ready to face whatever it is. Thank you and congratulations, 2012 graduates. For each graduating class, HCA likes to acknowledge one student who goes above and beyond what is expected. We know we ask a lot of our students. Most of them have full-time jobs, families, and other time commitments that serve as obstacles to achieving their diploma. That's why they're involved with us. For every graduating class, we honor one student who exemplifies the ideal of achievement despite those obstacles. This year at HCA, we adopted a new curriculum in an effort to make the program more vigorous. We met that goal and then these online courses were more difficult and more lengthy than any program we've had before. Most of our students adapted and met their goals. Some simply couldn't handle it and withdrew. But only a couple of our students succeeded beyond what was asked of them. One young man in our program came to us in October with 13 and a half credits. He needed a whopping 10 and a half to graduate. In planning out his coursework, we set up a two-year plan allowing him to earn half this year and half next year. Having already lost the first nine months of school, we felt this would be a rigorous schedule, yet he stayed, yet he could stay caught up with his work. He returned from Christmas break with a plan that differed from ours. He wanted to graduate in May. We outlined for him what he would have to do per month and per week in order to make this happen. On paper, it looked very daunting. But he simply said okay and got right to work. He did most of his work at home, squeezed in between a full-time job to do more babies. Then he would come into school and take six or seven tests at a time. Then he'd be off again and we wouldn't see him until the next week or so. This progressed right up to the end. He certainly had a lot of obstacles in his way, but we never saw him give up. We never heard him complain. We never saw anything but a smile on his face. He achieved what we thought was impossible, and he did it well. We know he's got a bright future ahead of him, and we're proud to call him one of ours. It is with great pleasure that I present the HCA Achievement Award to Mr. Jacob Wallace.
team of educators, we believe strongly that there is a way to reach your goals. And we've dedicated ourselves to helping each one of our students find their way towards success despite their obstacles. There's nothing unusual about one of our students having barriers that stand between them and their diploma. It's pretty much how you get into the door at HCA. Some of them are typical, and some of them are tragic, but all of them are overcome at the academy. For each graduating class, we as a school like to recognize one senior who has defied the odds and found a way to succeed despite the obstacles in his or her way. As you can imagine, it's difficult to choose just one student who illustrates that motto when the graduating class is full of them. However, we do have one individual in particular who stood out among the rest as someone who has overcome tremendous odds. Our students enroll with us at different times and for different reasons. One young lady enrolled with us this past fall. Now, I don't usually get to sit in on the enrollment meeting, but I did on this one. And let me tell you, I had my doubts. During this meeting, she didn't speak. She didn't make eye contact. She didn't really seem sure that she wanted to be there. And I admit that I left that meeting not sure that HCA was going to be a good fit for her. We're pretty casual at the academy. We like to joke around. We get a little silly sometimes. And all of our student interactions are one-on-one. -on -one. So I was thinking to myself as I left that meeting how difficult it was going to be to joke around with, let alone teach Hamlet to this young lady and do her senior portfolio if she wasn't going to talk to me. When she actually started with us, day one was pretty much as I expected it would be. She came, she sat, she did her work silently. But every once in a while, I catch her eye and listening in on one of our ridiculous conversations with either the other teachers or one of the other students. On day two, she spoke to us, and I worked with her on some coursework. By day three, the transformation had begun. We learned some valuable things about this young lady, most important being that she is just as sarcastic and as witty as the rest of us, maybe even a little bit more so. And every day from then forward, she proved my initial concept of her to be incorrect. Her humor became the highlight of my day, and my heart grew for her the more I learned about her. Because there is so much more to this young lady than a silly girl who had us singing along to you on Sexy and I Know It. There is a deeper side, one that's been touched by both tragedy and by personal sacrifice. One of the most rewarding parts of my job is getting to complete writing portfolios with students. I get to learn so much about them from the personal experiences that they reveal through their writing. Personal stories come in various forms, but most of the portfolio pieces that I see are the story of a first year hunt or the time that someone broke his or her arm. But never before have I had to excuse myself from a writing session to wipe away tears from my eyes. She's not the kind of person who would want her personal business thrown out to the public, so I'm not going to stand here and tell you her story. But I will tell you this. This young lady has been through what I believe to be the hardest thing that a child should ever have to endure. And not only has she persevered through this tragedy, but she has emerged a stronger and more determined person because of it. She has undoubtedly benefited from a strong support system in her mother, but she's also finding her own independence. She's doing an excellent job of it. She finished her coursework with HCA earlier than expected due to her daily attendance and her hard work, but she didn't take the spring semester off like most young people would have. She enrolled in college right away. She's been working toward her college degree before her high school diploma is even in her hand. We at the Academy are honored to call her one of our graduates. She truly found a way to move beyond life's obstacles and achieve her goal, and she serves as a constant reminder of the strength that lies within each and every one of us. And so it is with tremendous humility from my initial misconception and tremendous pride in the young woman that she's become that I present HCA's Finding a Way Award to Ms. Laura Lyons.